In bird culture, this is considered a dick move. So the false thought that went through my head was, yeah, that was a dick move. But as I thought about it, a couple things stood out that made me change my mind. Number one, they both already saluted. The match is now active. And number two, Blue on the right never extended his arm to touch tips. He didn't deceive Red into believing he was going to, then suddenly thrust. Red noticed this and was just a second too late in getting his defense back up. So what are my thoughts? Yes, it was a bit of a dick move, in that it only takes a second or two to oblige someone, and it does show good sportsmanship. Though, there are a lot of other reasons as to why this wasn't a dick move at all, and is actually a very tactical decision we shouldn't bash on. I have a few thoughts on why this is good, but I'm going to play the rest of the match in the background, because it was an interesting and high-scoring match. I think we just all need to be on the same page. Do we salute? Or do we touch tips? Saluting is more common, so let's go with that. Having both is redundant, and touching tips after fight has been called is wasting match time. For this tournament, matches only lasted 90 seconds. There is also more important things to be doing in the Zufecton. This is the time you have to learn about your opponent. Don't waste that time. Most importantly though, Blue made a tactical decision. If we read about this in some manuscript, some noble walks into Mezril to touch tips and gets stabbed in the neck, we would all have a laugh about it. This is a teachable moment though, so what are my final thoughts? Reunite! Okay, and then don't touch tips, just there you go. A little... Seven! Six! Now, I have initiated touching tips, and I've obliged touching tips. The difference, though, is that it was only with people I know and trust. Thank you, friends. Your honor is great. Come, let us gingerly touch our tips. 